This is Twit. Um, the question has arisen, and apparently it's been answered, actually, whether Apple is actually encrypting our iCloud storage backups. Um, I wanted to start out this week by discussing this since we were talking about this recently. Uh, I got I was first made aware of it by a guy named Jeff Root, who is a frequent participant in our news groups. And I told him I'd give him a little shout out. So there you go, Jeff. Uh, he pointed me at a story in Reuters, which has since been picked up by a bunch of the tech press because it makes a little after a lot of interviewing of former Apple employees and some FBI people who are in the know. Uh, they end up citing six sources familiar with the fact that Apple explicitly dropped its plan for encrypting backups after the FBI complained. Um, so these six sources told Reuters that Apple had dropped its plans to give iPhone users the option to fully encrypt backups of their devices uh, that are backed up to iCloud, of course, after the FBI complained that the move would the that Apple's plan would harm their investigations. Um, this happened about two years ago and had not been previously explicitly reported. Reuters stated that it showed how much Apple has been willing to help U.S. law enforcement. And, of course, we were talking about this back and forth in the over the last couple of weeks as a result of this new Pensacola uh, shooting. Uh, but in addition to this, Reuters says that behind the scenes, Apple has been providing the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation with rather comprehensive help. That is, as much as they've been able to, uh, not specifically related to a couple of the more high profile cases that we've talked about, but just sort of in general, citing one current and three former FBI officials and one current and one former Apple employee, Reuters reported that more than two years ago, Apple told the FBI that it planned to offer users end to end encryption. And, you know, we take that now to mean nobody can see into it. I mean, even they can't when storing their phone data on iCloud. Under that plan, primarily designed to thwart hackers, Apple themselves would no longer have a key to unlock the encrypted data, meaning it would not be able to turn over material to authorities in a readable form, even under court order. Subsequently, during private talks with Apple, representatives of the FBI cybercrime um, uh, agents and its operational technology division objected to the plan, arguing it would deny them the most effective means for gaining evidence against suspects using iPhones. And when Apple later spoke privately to the FBI about its work on phone security about a year later, the end to end encryption plan had been dropped, according to those six well placed sources. Reuters said that it was unable to determine exactly why Apple had dropped their sweeping encryption plan, but that it had been. Another formal app, former Apple employee said he was told without any specific mention of why the plan was dropped or if the FBI was a factor in the decision, quote, legal killed it for reasons you can imagine, unquote. But that, that former, is important. Imagine... Yes is perhaps what that employee was also doing. Because there's, yes. there's a little dispute over this, Rene Ritchie. Oh, okay. we, we talked Good. about I'm it glad. a couple of weeks ago. Rene Ritchie said he remembers that time. And Apple made a conscious decision, and this is actually applicable uh, for this show, to instead of fail secure, to fail safe. That they were worried if they did do trust no one encryption and somebody lost their password, yes, it would fail secure, but they wouldn't be able to help that person. So they opted. Yes. And that may be what legal said is, no, we don't want to be on the hook for losing people's data. We'll make it fail safe. The password can be reset, which means, of course, it's not trust no one. Well, and that that is what Tim Cook has officially said uh, was their position, 
That is, you know, they decided exactly as you said, Leo, that that it would be a problem for their users if there was no recourse um, for the for the recovery of storage from uh, from the, the from phone data backed up to the iCloud. And that's actually an important point because if you can't, if any company can say, "Oh, you forgot your password," we'll reset it. Then it's not trust no one, right? That's absolutely right. And in fact, what what's a little bit slimy here is the is what Apple says. For example, because because after reading all this, I went back to their privacy stuff for iCloud and just to like to figure out what it was they were saying that was different than this. Because I mean, to give our listeners a sense for this, during the first half of of 2019, so the first half of last year, which is the period covered by Apple's most recent semi-annual transparency report on requests for data it received from government agencies, uh, U.S. authorities armed with, you know, court orders asked for and obtained full device backups and other iCloud content for 1,568 cases covering about 6,000 accounts. Um, and it turns out that uh, U.S. secret service, or I guess secret U.S. intelligence court directives um, that it received over the same period of time, it responded to more than 18,000 accounts during the first half of last year. So, you know, Apple is busy disclosing iCloud backup data. So anyway, I, I went over and looked. And under, so they have a, a, a section for iCloud, end-to-end -end encrypted data. And what they've said is that, or what, what Tim has said is that um, the most sensitive data is end-to-end -end encrypted. And I thought, well, okay, what does that mean? So they said, end-to-end -end encryption provides the highest level of data security. Your data is protected with a key derived from information unique to your device combined with your device passcode, which only you know. No one else can access or read this data. So that all sounds like really good. And then they said, these features and their data are transmitted and stored in iCloud using end-to-end -end encryption. Home data, health data, iCloud keychain, payment information, quick type keyboard learned vocabulary, screen time, Siri information, Wi-Fi passwords. And then they said to access your data on a new device, you might have to enter the passcode for an existing or former device. So they enumerate carefully the things they do end-to-end -end encrypt, that is, which they have no visibility into, which... So I guess is meant to say, but everything else that we back up, we're not end to end encrypting. Right. And then, and then, and then they said messages, messages in iCloud uses end to end encryption. They said, if you have iCloud backup turned on, your backup includes a copy of the key protecting your messages. This, and this is what's a little slippery. This ensures you, you can recover messages if you lose access to iCloud keychain and your trusted devices. They said when you turn off iCloud backup, a new key is generated on your device to protect future messages and isn't, isn't stored by Apple. So, so this is really slippery because they're saying messages in iCloud also uses end-to-end -end encryption, but they're also saying, and the key to decrypt them is stored there too. Um, so, and, and then I looked under their privacy, uh, apple.com slash privacy, and they said, messages are only seen by who you send them to. Apple can't read your iMessages while they're being in, sent. In transit. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. between you and the person you're texting. Right. And it's like, oh, okay. So, yeah, you know, th there our listeners know how to 
how to hear that. And what that says is, right, we uh, send them to the iCloud before they're encrypted and after they're decrypted. Yes, we encrypt them on in the iCloud, but we store their key alongside the encrypted messages. Oh, because if you lost access to that, you wouldn't want to lose your valuable messages. It's like, Oh, okay. So we talked so, a long time with Renee, and he's promised to make a video on this because this is extremely confusing. There are trust no one ways to store messages as well as passwords and certain other data. The default is, of course, not trust no one. It's fail safe. Yeah. But there are ways for it, and this confused the hell well, out of me. Well, I, I would call it fail open. Fail, fail open. safe is being too nice. It's yeah, not, it doesn't fail, fail closed, yeah. it fails open. So there is on messages a setting uh, to, to do cloud messages. And if you turn that on, Renee tells me, you've just turned off store, encryption storage. However, if you just have it be part of iCloud backup, it is encrypted. Now, maybe they're storing the key. Remember, they said the key has to be then parsed with your code, your unlock code, to decrypt. So maybe they're storing that partial key. His, his, his sense, and I think it's extremely confusing, so I, I'm not going to say this is absolutely the, the case. I'll tell you what is absolutely the case, according to Apple. If you're using cloud backup for anything, you should assume because it's not clear, even though Apple says what's on your iPhone stays on your iPhone. Yes. But you should assume that, it, that Apple has access to that. And and that means, by the way, not only law enforcement has access to it, but a sufficiently sophisticated hacker taking advantage of a flaw in iCloud or social engineering might also get access to it. If you back up your Apple device, your iDevice, iPhone or iPad, directly to a computer, you check the box that says encrypted backup, in iTunes, or I guess it's now, I don't know what it's called now, but in that app, and you give it a password, that is trust no one at this point. Only you have access to that. That is fully encrypted. Apple cannot get it. As soon as you put it on the cloud, some is, some isn't. It's not immediately clear what is, what isn't. So from now on, for my backups, if I want real privacy, back it up to your computer locally, turn on encryption, use a password, and don't lose it because <laughs> Apple can't fix it if you lose it. Well, and, and I have to say, I mean, it's so many people say to me, because they think I know, uh, like, oh, my iCloud backup is full. You know, what What do I do? And and so my point is that everybody wants to have their precious little phone backed up it's to convenient. the iCloud. Yeah, it's like, oh, look, it's magic. It's more I, than convenient. Know? Apple pushes it. They push it hard because they make money on it because it's full. You have to buy more. Yep. And they push it. They really yep. strongly encourage it. Uh, and and they, I think, should be blamed a little bit for giving the m misimpression that it is fully it, secure. What stays, it, what's on your iPhone stays on your iPhone. That was the big ad last year in CES. Yes. Uh, by the way, the hubris of that was immediately <laughs> handled bad karma because I think there was a there was a, a, a crack right after that ad was up. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wasn't strictly true. It isn't true. But there are ways to do it. I, I hope I don't know if Renee's made that video yet. He's got to make that video because it isn't clear to anybody what is safe and what isn't safe. And props to Renee if he can figure this out. Yeah, I, mean, this I is can't. A, this is this is a mess. Yeah, and you know confusion unfortunately <laughs> causes most people to go well. Uh, well, uh, it's probably okay. Well, the thing that you pulled know? me up short is he said, yeah, if you if you turn on messages in the cloud, you are now turning off trust no one encryption <laughs> and i went what uh, what yeah. so, well and android android central picked up on this yes uh their title was apple may have ditched encrypted backups google hasn't and a android central said a bombshell report from reuters suggests apple ditched end-to-end -end encryption for icloud backups at the behest of the fbi citing several former apple employees and fbi officials the production notes that Apple, the, the publication, meaning Reuters, notes that Apple planned to switch to end-to-end -to -end encryption for iCloud, putting it on the same level as iPhones and iPads, but reversed, meaning, you know, native local encryption, but reversed course 
after consulting with the FBI. So, yeah, um, that would be good if 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 uh, I mean, I think Rene would have himself a very popular piece of video if he were able yeah, to unscramble. No one, no this. one can translate this. It's just no, clear. it's just yeah. it's nuts. Yeah.